Hello everyone, update today about the restoration of my content on the channel as you have probably already seen. Uh, like when was it? Yeah, this week I had told you what's going on. Basically I'm uh, re-uploading uh, all the older videos with copyright free pictures. And uh, this week I had temporarily um, rendered private all the videos with uh, not copyright, not proper attribution at least, uh, obscured their video tracks and rendered them uh, visible again. I appreciate it very much, the absence of complaining and whining about, uh, you know, I can't see the videos, all the stuff. Uh, I had informed you, you had given me a positive feed and I went on with the thing. It was a precautional measure, as you know. I hadn't received any copyright requests and, and claim anything of that kind, but I had reflected on it in the previous days, especially ever since I monetized the channel because YouTube. I discovered YouTube was inserting uh, advertisements uh, on my own videos without without. Uh, re requesting which they can do technically but at that point I preferred to to monetize finally and um, so I said you know if I'm making money out of it and this is going to be something you know relevant I I don't want any trouble of sort so I re-uploaded now I started re-uploading the uh, starting from from the videos that had received more views right and some of them are very old and today I want to discuss this aspect because uh, all together like I think I've done at, up to this point something like 1150 videos since the beginning of Schwerpunkt and it's been a, a, a long way right and the videos with copyrighted images were up to 850 uh, initially but I think they were around 800 now because I discovered that some of the, the early videos especially had already been done with uh, not completely copyright because you know the copyright is always there basically but there are the creative common uh, licenses that allow you to just through attribution not to pay anything for them and that's basically the ones I use. There are also some mm, free, like public domain ones. You don't even ask, have to ask for any permission. So um, I decided to to restore uh, the the wall system for also for reasons of you know Schwerpunkt's future in a sense. Because um, first of all, I've done this thing very suddenly, very rapidly, it took a few days to obscure all, all the video tracks and the, the audio is all there, it's, it's all there, right, except, except for 30 videos that over this 1100, is a, a, yeah, uh, the total that are specifically the Prince Eugen series, probably somebody will cry at this point, but they will come back to soon, I just have to check some things about them specifically and the medieval animals, uh, let's say animals in medieval imagery uh, series that also will come back but I have to check something about that so basically everything is, is, is there again uh, public and some of you I know that are studying uh, history and they they said you know please any host like before the semester starts you and yeah everything now is is there back again so everybody can access Schwerpunkt content uh, like before now um, what I've been doing in the last days which may have puzzled somebody but possibly in a positive sense is um, that I've started re-uploading a lot of it putting out a lot of videos now uh, many of you considered that in uh, Schwerpunkt in one year, year has literally doubled its subscribers. So many of you, and with an acceleration in the last year, in the last, um, I mean in 2021, and so many of you probably do not know what this thing has been about since the beginning. Some of you probably don't don't even know about the Von Krieger um, series. Um, you come like you came on this channel just because it talks about history. This is actually about something different. It's it's about history, yes, broadly meant, because 
I am a medievalist, and when I need to say fill the gaps of in the, in the rank within the ranks of of the channel, I talk about medieval history, and um, that's I guess why most of you came here. Um, and I talk about also ancient warfare. I span now modern warfare, and, and I will probably um, also add something about Bronze Age warfare, etc. I'm, I'm, however, a military historian first and foremost, right? And the World Channel is dedicated to strategic culture uh, and education and uh, the art of war, specifically. And therefore, all my videos are, whenever I talk about history, I do it through the lens of the Clausewitz in Trinity. Uh, that uh, it's a broader I've, I've used also in my studies probably most of you know that I, I I finished my doctorate this year so I I have a a long experience with exclusively with military history because yes I am a medievalist but I like to think I'm a military historian first and foremost it just happened by chance actually to be a medievalist but all the theses I've written have been about warfare and specifically with a very specific method that is the one that probably I will address at some point now in um, you know the, probably the, the older the older subscribers um, already know but it, it's important because it, it fits not just the military aspect but properly the the entire um, uh, community spectrum politically and socially and we will have the chance to to speak about this. I interrupted the temporarily, right? Just suspended uh, for for a while. The the close of it's in, uh, uh, yeah, the the red and commentary on 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 war. Uh, I I confess it's because some, of, I mean, it didn't um, get many views, but that was not the important thing. The important thing is I literally wanted to stabilize the channel to properly ensure I could get this safe, steady, uh, flow of views and. Um, I will keep. I will explain you what I have in mind now. But von Clausewitz will come back, and will always come back talking about von Clausewitz. Even when we finish the von Krieger, will pass to other works, and um, we will hopefully expand his, uh, you know, the, the 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 broader view that we should have in terms of politics, society, and and war uh, through that aspect. And if you literally have no clue who von Clausewitz is, and many people literally, um, in fact, do. Uh, and if um, you don't even know what, what it's about, please go check the von Clausewitz place, because that's the single most... I know, it, it requires attention, it, it, some may find it boring at some level, but it's the single most important piece of Schwerpunkt here. Schwerpunkt uh, notoriously is a club... It's arguably the most important Clausewitzian um, concept and uh, we will have we still have to make a video to explain what Schwerpunkt actually means and it's still very important so um, uh, well, so I've been so what I've been doing in the last days is I've been re-uploading old videos with copyright free let's say for for, for the uh, approximately for for the sake of brevity free videos right so um, this is uh, aimed at also restoring part of the older content because I, uh, in, in the last days, from the times of monetization to the the latter, right? Uh, yesterday, um, I have so a couple of weeks. I've, I've been forced, in a sense, to rewatch all the. Um, the, the data about all the videos I have because I had to manually change the settings for each one of them back and forth twice and I realized something that I already uh, knew but that I, I pictured now in a much more clear way and especially in a diachronic perspective about properly what's been the um, the success let's say the, the the profit of, of these videos, that is to say, how many people watched them over over time. And I discovered quite interesting things I already knew, but that now are much clearer. That is, there are just a relatively few videos. We could say, I don't know, 30, 50, 100, depends also how the, about the reach, that actually pulled the cart, that actually made views, right? There are vi videos that are also, frankly, 
good. Like, I, when I make videos, I generally say, mm, I'm not entirely satisfied about how I address the matter today. I wish I could have said it better. There was something more to add. I could have phrased it in a more effective way, and so on. Um, it, and every once in a while, I say, okay, this is a good video at the end of the day. And, and I realize that, I said, people just do not care that much. And, and, and I understand that. And, and the logic that the logics that I have seen through this uh, statistics is that fundamentally there is a taste, uh, a bias for specific topics that are essentially the migration era. Let's be honest about that. Uh, that's by far the one that has received... Uh, I made lots of, of videos about that because I like the period, but it's not the entire thing. And I, and I have all because of the aforementioned uh, Clausewitzian reasons, all an, an idea about why people like this, and I'll bite, uh, you know, I made also other videos that migration here is not, you know, privilege over others, right? And um, and I don't think it's a, bo a positive thing, right? I, 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 I think it's positive naturally that people have sometimes a deep historical curiosity. I can say interest or application. I clearly see it, I must say, even through the comments. Uh, there is a silent majority that doesn't express their opinion, and sometimes there are people who, who say very intelligent things, but the general impression I have is that, uh, even through the statistics, is that people tend to come up with my videos because just they see a name or, or a concept or an idea. They don't even listen to the video because every YouTuber will tell you that this unfortunately happens. And they just put like because they think that in that video that there is the projection of what their own idea, their own preconception, their own belief, their own what ideology is in it, right? Um, I have never made mystery of my, um, you know, mild political bias, right? I can't even say orientation because I don't believe in such such things anymore. It's obvious that my channel is more more of a conservative one than a liberal one, but it is not in the way you you would see in those channels that I don't know speak about ethno nationalistic stuff that bend history just to their own interest. I don't do that. I don't believe in that. First of all, you know that Schwerpunkt is an over has always been an overtly anti ethno nationalistic um, channel. Uh, Schwerpunkt is anti-fascist, anti-nazist, and anti-communist, right? So, uh, naturally, it's open to anybody, but there are certain standards, right? There are just a few things that you can't do in here, but those few things are pretty, you know, fixed, and they're, they, they're not going to change. And, uh, but I must say that my audience, uh, and I'm very satisfied and proud of you, I, you're all very, um, controlled your discipline i don't know whether it's the close of its in spirit like passing through me like you know uh celestial glory and delivered in the videos and you know the disciplining people together but i just think that you know the, fortunately the majority of people is reasonable and good and i i, I haven't received you know even criticism is very is very polite uh uh, but I ba barely don't get any, and I I have no haters. I have no problems. I've never had uh, anything of this kind. I thought that you know starting to <laughs> talk about history and military history on YouTube would have been like uh, you know to be in the eye of the storm all the time. Instead, no. This channel has developed very orderly and very uh, very positively, and I'm very glad about it. <laughs> Um, so I don't know why, how I got here, but yeah, in fact, as we were saying before, I appreciated very much your patience in these days. If you say, oh, where are the videos? Well, yeah, here they are all back. They are obscure, though. Like, the video is obscure. Some of them look from, from the outside um, as if they weren't. Like, the thumbnail is still maintaining the original picture, which is not a big deal in terms of copyright. Nobody hears, actually. Um, but if you click in the video, it's, it's all blurry, and you can't see any sensible picture um, this may this doesn't discourage you because you know that now I upload just very beautiful I discovered actually copyright free material is often like there is a few on certain specific um, topics such as you know very specific typologies of fighters and so on that I will occur to my, my hand for writing in a sense um, but um, the copyright free images are a lot and uh, you can find them very easily so um, I must say that some some videos I re-uploaded were even better graphically than the 
the other ones. They they are more generally they're you know instead than as I did before blurring partially the picture to say that at least I had altered it a little, not really exploited the high def definition original one. Uh, was not an excellent solution. I talked with some fellow um, YouTubers, some of, uh, I won't say their names because they're, uh, of course, I respect their privacy, but uh, I've been asking around uh, and they told me basically that copyright strikes on pictures are, you know, they'd never experienced, right? I, I asked people that fundamentally have channels very similar to mine, so they have however greater experience, uh, greater amount of views, they've been here for longer so they, they know more in terms of what can happen. Um, and they say, yeah, you know, I did this thing because if you read what copyright law is really about and what happens on the internet for once in a while, uh, this is not just a matter of saying, you know, you, you picture, you post one, one video that has one picture uh, and you risk something. The, the problem with Swarpup was that I used at least tens of thousands of these pictures and therefore statistically I cannot build the channel um, hoping like this hoping that nothing will ever happen right As if the the content is structurally built like that uh, it has to change and that's why I had to do this thing I received very supportive uh, comments on this uh, for which I want to thank you some of them were objectively moving like uh, I, I know that this sounds overly cautious or overly scrupulous, but I really care about Sparepunk and I, I would never forgive myself if I, I lost the channel for, for, for such a thing, right? In, primarily in front of you, because I can even go on with my life without a channel. I don't have that problem, but I think that in itself it's also a good opportunity for all of us and I think it works. I think the channel has its own um, soul, its own spirit, its own character, and it he, it it required itself this fix, um, this fixing. So I um, I think I made the right choice, and I I feel much better with it. Um, and I I hope now we can simply go on without. Me. Of course, uh, my main concern at the moment is. It's not much re-uploading all the uh, the content because, as I was saying before, there are just a few videos that people actually watched, um, and I'm re-uploading those. Consider that before 2020, I also recorded with very low audio, so the people complained and said, you know, I can't hear things like that. Can you higher the volume a little bit, raise the volume, and I I'm doing. Right. In fact, they are much better in this sense. But I also realized that pre-2020 videos were also poorly spoken. Right. Even today, I I have problems with the language. Uh, it's no mystery that uh, my English level is not this this much. I have a C1 uh, on on paper. Right. Uh, but uh, you know, I I I got some habits in speaking. Uh, my speech has dramatically improved. Uh, I was fluent in English. The problem is I wasn't fluid, right? And I didn't know this up to when I started making videos and people said, you know, you could speak better and could organize. So I got a broader capacity, properly also delivering the the content, etc. So much that if I listen to my, uh, I don't know, 2019 self say, oh my God, I can't post uh, videos like this. In fact, um, what I noticed yesterday, I... Uh, uh, I, I say I came up first of all with this idea that is first of all I will re-upload all the 2020 and 2021 videos with improved pictures because those are literally the the locomotive of the channel. Uh, there are older videos um, that will be re-uploaded as well. Just right now I've been uploading one thing about the Golden Horde and, and the rise of Moscow. Yesterday I uploaded um, that video on Wallenstein. Uh, that they are also old, right? But and in fact, they don't sound don't sound quite well, right? And um, and I'm undecided about but whether re-uploading them or not, right? Why am I re-uploading everything? You could say, well, just leave them like they are without losing too much time. Well, I think it's actually 
I owe it to you because I decided to change. Ah, by the way, extremely important thing. I obscured the video tracks, but the video tracks can be restored. So I actually have all the originals here uploaded because I didn't save the videos uh, anywhere, not, not even the audio tracks, right? And this was maybe a bit, um, you know, imprudent because I've, I could have lost the channel for any reason. Technically, it can still happen. Now I'm saving everything, in fact. Um, and I'm at good point, actually. I've saved hundreds of videos. It's, it's, it's easy because just the computer does it by itself, so I don't have even to work on it technically. Um, uh, I have a, a specific external hard disk just for that because they're huge, right? And I save both the video and the audio, so the, the volume is high. I could make it smaller at some point, but at, at the moment, in, in precautional measure, I'm, I'm do first downloading everything, then maybe I will... Uh, recompress the thing, the the files, but anyhow, what what I was saying is that Albedo obscured the video track. The video track can be uh, restored to its originality. Um, this is quite important because, for example, there were some battle videos that are generally the only ones that require people to watch uh, in parallel to the uh, to to the explanation because there is a you know, battlefield map that goes in sequence, etc. As you know, on Firepunk, we have never been much about the graphic element, right? There are just lots of pictures, maybe nice, but they're not connected to the speech, if not for relatively to the topic uh, discussed. And um, so if, if you're worried because some videos got blurred for some reason, just know that they are all, they can be all restored. Right, it's just a click, and they come back like they were before. So, this obscurity, let's say, it's just this blur is just temporary, and I will hopefully re-upload at least most of these important videos in the next months. Right, and it's gonna be, uh, yeah, a bit of work from my side, uh, time allowing and uh, allowing at this point. I have uh, free time to upload several videos a day, again. Um, but the whole thing made me also reflect on another aspect that is, um, so that's not maybe important. The, 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 the negative part may be that since I have lots of playlists and people may simply watch the playlists from the outside and, and see all this blur, you know, a lot of blurred mm, thumbnails and say, okay, I will not watch this. The same goes for the average person that, come, that passes by and stumbles into my videos and say, oh, but this is all blurred, what I'm even watching it for. So. As I noticed and experienced the hard way now, I I have much less views and much less subscriptions compared to before. Not this dramatic much, actually. Um, part of the reason is, um, you know, um, it's mostly the subscribers that have slowed, the subscriptions have slowed down dramatically. Uh, reason being that you are faithful and remain here, because I've seen it. Uh, the channel wasn't minimally affected by the fact I, I shut down everything for a couple of days uh, uh, in terms of sus subscriptions. There is no reason. You like my content, I keep posting every day, so for you it doesn't even change much. There, there is some of you, of course, that goes back into the playlist, etc., but more or less you're interested in my speech, not in my... because, let's be honest, what this, what is this all about? You're not here for the pictures, right? Like. It would be ridiculous. I hope not so. Um, I know that this is YouTube, and naturally the visual part is is important, but and it helps to watch while also somebody is explaining. But given the formula of my videos, I know that you're here for listening. Many of you actually just listen to my videos as if they were as they are podcasts, as a matter of fact. And so it's not important. But the average external person as you were initially likely uh, that came across my videos and decided to subscribe may say may, may be discouraged by the fact that all of these videos are blurred so that's the reason why I'm re-uploading lots of them and there will be uh, many remaining like this for for a long time for months at least and I I, I don't think I will, I'm, I'm going to fix everything not even like I could technically spend all these you know next months just re-uploading stuff it would be quite effective actually um, some older videos are so bad i could even eliminate but i will never do it because 
uh, they they make mass and still they help some way but you when you realize that you made a video three years ago and you got I don't know 60 views you know that you can't do without that and it's not and that's why you, I'm not going to re-upload those <laughs> that's what I mean um, so this is my new normal let's say um, relatively to the new content uh, this is what I wanted to tell you nothing is really gonna change in terms of uh, Schwerpunkt um, uh, let's say objective I, I will keep uploading a new video every day just yesterday I wouldn't because I accidentally deleted it because of all this <laughs> I deleted the tra the audio tracks well it was uh, found but it doesn't matter it was not even a very long video and I will remake it at some point but watching these stats as we were saying before I noticed something important that is to say that you tend to like some general stuff that is to say and I noticed it too that over the years I uh, got m m habituated with m with my routine that was essentially going from a more man let's say more manualistic content form in the first years in 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 you know in a bit more specialistic and kind of more in-depth viewing in the last uh, years uh, in fact, I must say that in order to prepare the videos, I basically got rid of most of the previous manuals of first years uh, because they were too simple, right? I had talked about a lot of stuff, some not yet, and this is the point, but I, I thought they were too simple in a sense now it's not really a matter of simplicity because you know that my channel has always been about going a bit more in depth and looking at things in in a broader sense the, vid the, the videos are very long for YouTube's average and so on but I realized that in this process I passed from generalistic to specialistic in a very quick fashion so that even big areas of especially medieval history we discuss etc have been uncovered like I banally I think I never made a video I don't know about medieval Sweden or medieval Portugal uh, individually we, we talked about them we we made important videos that were addressing different things about including these countries histories but I don't know if I had to make a medieval Sweden video which is I can tell you actually I'm preparing um, I think I could get I could reach many more subscribers entertaining um, the, the ones they already have um, in, because you, you I, I bet you would appreciate such things and and also increasing properly uh, f fast the the channel flow etc because the um, the channel is um, as you know for 1100 videos it has already 4400 subscribers but in the last year it's been growing fast and now this little stop may or slowing down has made me say okay let's let's think more strategically like if I keep making videos about details about I don't know I, I was planning uh, my next videos were about medieval Germany medieval Italy and were something like respectively the how the the German princes were more or less co-opted or the, the dynast let's say the, the the blood connections with the kings and about with uh, about Italy was um, I wanted to talk about hygiene in in medieval uh, communes and isn't it better to make a good video even about historical regions I don't know I talk about medieval Saxony or medieval Lombardy or medieval in fact as we were saying before it is even Burgundy France I, I, I realize we for some reason we didn't talk much about France like this is a channel dedicated to medieval history and the French history playlist is is full because naturally I mean it's full it's there are like I think a bit less than 40 videos but it deserves much more we never made like a, a comprehensive video about properly the kingdom of France and or I, I discovered that also the Merovingians make a lot of views uh, everything that is titled Holy Roman Empire makes a lot of views and I want to try with Scandinavia I want to try with uh, also with other parts of uh, Central Eastern Europe I want to try with the Iberian monarchies with the British Isles with, with I don't know with Sicily also we didn't discuss it very much and or even extra European countries they, so in 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 the basics like saying a very short introduction but making factually a an hour and a half video about the the, the history of that of that country and then 
being a, a good base also for new subscribers to to be attracted and to eventually descend into the details so i don't know how to shuttle this currently i will keep uh, i will actually stick to my to my uh shuttle the the, the kind of topics i i discuss but here and there we'll probably talk frequently about this other uh, i will insert this other videos uh, about single kind and I think it can be very profitable for the world because at the end of the day I realized that while Schwerpunks uh, you see the, the content doesn't lose quality because actually we talk about things that sometimes we even skipped right we can't talk a lot about the various political institutional mechanisms I don't know of the Holy Roman Empire but if until we don't make a video concretely saying who did rule where, what's the history of this region, what went on, like, let's be honest, we never made a video on the Lombard League. How is it possible on, on, on a medieval history and warfare channel? How, how uh, why haven't we talked ever about, I don't know, a, a video dedicated specifically, I don't know, to medieval Poland? We talked a lot about Poland, Bohemia, and Hungary. We made, I think, three or four videos, or even more, grouping these countries together. But when it comes to one single team, there is there is hardly anything. I, I did this just a bit for Bohemia, telling the truth, um, uh, for different reasons. And uh, But why not extend it to other realities? I think it's quite important. So I, I want to try this. I was thinking also of rendering more frequent those uh, single people's histories. Like, for example, we made a lot of history of uh, Germanic people, right? And there is a list of Germanic peoples that we will, some of those videos are very old. For, for example, the ones I made about the Alamanni or the Vandals or the Burgundians are really made in the early days. They got a lot of views, but what if I actually remade them today? It would be they would be much better, and I would get even more views. Um, I've seen it recently, last year, with the video on the Turingia that I just re-uploaded, and I also up with the one about the Gavets. It will be the same. So why not extend this? I don't know to Slavic peoples, to Celtic peoples, tribes, whatever you want to call them, um, you know, at some levels, because also the, the story there goes across ancient and medieval times uh, sometimes. So I think that's a good starting point, right? Because I realized that I can't make a good work, let's say, all together by going in depth and or talking sometimes a lot about certain, a single topic every once in a while, but I, I'd like to structure more, like if... Again, as we were saying, if somebody wants to check here about medieval Sweden, there is literally nothing um, specific, at least. So, I really want to fix that, and I hope uh, we're going to do that. Uh, another change includes um, probably the, uh, the introduction of some Bronze Age warfare videos that I started like at the very beginning of Schwerfunk, the same goes for class uh, Hellenic classical warfare like more the, the Greek Persian wars uh, that I began to talk uh, to discuss again uh, sometimes there is less to say because as you understand Bronze Age warfare like yeah we can make more comp comprehensive videos about general topics but it's also interesting to look in detail to various peoples I think people People would be legitimately fascinated by that. Uh, I wouldn't like to dilute uh, too much the medieval content, though. But at the same time, I think the the, the series about medi um, animals in medieval imaginary is gonna finish, you know, in some month. Um, the because you know also animals finish, uh, and uh, the um, the Prince Again series will continue. I think for another year or maybe less before it ends. So, but at some point that will end too. The same goes for the medieval law content, which we covered abundantly in many areas. And I don't know how much it it uh, it's over, but it's left. Let's say, but um, that's gonna end too at some point. So, the medieval stuff that I multiplied actually at the beginning will probably increase again in, in proportion so th there should be a balance between these things and as I was saying before now I can simply make some this random videos about single entities here and there to to fluidify to concentrate more so yeah that can be an idea um, I could uh, I thought about making something about 
biographies, but I'm let's say I li I like biographies, but I'm not a great fan of take uh, making them without context li uh, at least, and therefore I I'd like to make this general videos first. Um, and for the rest, the content will go on like before. So this is what I have in mind just right now. It will take a lot just to re-upload the old videos, but I think. I think you're patient about that. I mean, tell me what you think about it, because of course, I really want to hear your voice about this. I want to hear whether you uh, you care, for example, that what what impression it makes to see like a blurred video, G going back at looking at the old ones, uh, and if you think it's a big deal, or you you care about that, you uh, of course you know with pictures is better. That or I already know, but let's say. Does that affect the way you relate <laughs> with Spherepunk? Considering that also the, the new, considering the output will be massive at this point. Because if I let's say make a, a new video every day, plus let's say let's say a minimum of another re-upload a day, I'm going to upload in one year, hopefully, like 730 videos, <laughs> right? So it's uh, it's going to quickly uh, sat like to to surpass the, the the volume of of the videos I've already made, right? So it's going to be impressive, and the channel will probably have a tremendous boost in the process as well. So I'm really curious to see that, but I also need to know what what you think about in general this plan, the situation, and uh, just as a feed. Um, for the rest, what can I tell you? Uh, there is a lot to do. I, I, as you know, I don't do just this in my life, so uh, I I care about the, the whole thing being orderly and say fitting in the in the broader picture, rationally and uh, with the due space, the due importance. Uh, for the rest, it's 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 literally the same. Like so, all the videos are back there. The uh, the video tracks can be theoretically restored as well. If you have any particular need, you can say, "Could you please make me rewatch the picture in this video?" But you know, I don't think we can. We need to arrive to this. I think you take videos the way they are, and that's how it's gonna it's gonna stay in, in substantially. But um, yeah, I don't I don't have any other consideration. At the moment, I think I think I will re-upload videos that are not too recent. Though yesterday I re-uploaded the um, video about the Turiofaroi that I had made some weeks ago. I don't know. It, it's not that you have to watch. Ah, by the way, I'm keeping. You have probably seen it in the titles. I'm indicating what is a re-upload and what is not. So if you want to skip, s skip those uh, or I actually think as I was saying before that given the channel is rising very quickly that many of you haven't but even those who were subscribed uh, had subscribed at the time probably didn't watch every single video so um, it's always new content uh, for most um, the um, uh, naturally though I make a new video every day so if you want to keep uh, upload, uh, you know, updated um, about what I'm doing, I, you know that you have, especially for this kind of communications, the history and playlist when I make all the uh, the, the channel updates, uh, and I uh, delivered this info recently. I, I don't use the the chat there, the, the community chat, because it's boring. You get these messages are it's annoying. In fact, I. I will avoid now to to communicate the same thing. You you have to check if you want to know what what I'm doing. You have to to watch what I upload, right? It, you you see you can easily see if you see the the von Clausewitz face like in this video. You know I'm talking to you about something about the channel unless it's the von Krieger playlist series, right? But you can't see that because there is the title on it. So this are uh, these are specifically uh, videos designed to. Uh, to communicate to to the community, I say this because some um, followers that even I realize post like uh, watch my content assiduously um, said, 
what's going on now like uh, yeah I made videos to explain that so always consider that this is not like uh, of course you don't have to watch everything I upload but say as a point of reference you know you can't find the um, the the answers here because I'm very direct uh, I tell everything that happens so you you're always updated about what's going on here and I don't see any major change I don't know I don't want to fall in the <laughs> end of history illusion because uh, things change unfortunately sometimes also suddenly but as far as we've seen now I've been posting uh, every day uh, for for a long time and I'm satisfied with what I'm doing so I think that the channel will keep growing soon again with the most of the stuff uh, re-uploaded and uh, and also with a better catch because of course the the videos are going to be better <laughs> and um, the I think it's easy to 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 notice now that things have improved have changed and you see as I was saying before, the um, uh, if I listen to my old self, like two years ago, I say, mm, you know, I it can't be annoying to listen to me. Now I say, okay, yeah, I can't, I can't be annoying because I don't speak perfectly. But at the same time, it's it's now the kind of videos I'm I like I want to make in terms of approximately. I can always improve, but still, I will not go back. I don't know, ten years from now. <laughs> Hopefully, but you know, let's not talk about this. But saying that and saying, okay, oh no, the videos I made that year were were, were unpresentable. No, I, the the content is going to remain like this, fundamentally, uh, unless some form of support aid. I don't know where the channel is heading in terms of. Uh, I don't think it will. You see, my dream has always been, of course, for it to to boom at some point because it happens like this most of the time for for let's say the more you upload then the greater the chances are that somebody shares this somewhere where there's a lot of people and you I don't know you get thousands of subscribers in the, and, and the channel really takes off in a sense with Farpunk this has ha happened from from the bottom let's say it, it has spread gradually and it's um, s still doing so um, and uh, I hope now we can accelerate that for, for which you, if you see a, per, uh, a particular video that you like maybe not the ones obscured but I still receive good comments to say thanks for even on the, on the obscure video so there, there are people who enjoy it at the same time so that uh, among the new ones among the ones I'm re-uploading the new ones in general if, you, if there is anything you like particularly yeah, consider sharing that because it, as, as I often say the potential we have for making uh, things grow through via the internet as a in terms of spread of, of of connection of share is enormous enormous like literally the certain things do change overnight so the more Schwerpunkt grows and naturally the more I'm going to to make uh, this is an important aspect to consider that I, I I don't plan to give up uh, because I don't think it makes any sense at this point but still my involvement in what I can do on this channel and what what we can also do through this channel because that's another thing that I always dreamt of that we could activate something in terms of I don't know participation to a certain I don't know I don't say documentaries or anything of movies or things but say Knowing that there is somebody that makes this content because is is th there is a broader aim to sensitize people to actual history, not stories, right? There is something different, and and many people do not actually know what the difference is from a factually, concretely, um, is is a great opportunity. It's the only reason why I'm doing this, and in fact, I'm always very moved to see. You know when there is a subscriber more because I say you know I, I I want somebody's interest in something that I I see as a historian I must say it's easy because you're framed within your own work and you know that other people don't see that so it's a bit shooting on the Red Cross but it, it there is objectively a a lot that even a person without any specific historical education can learn 
and that's what I'm doing and I'm trying to to show through this channel that is n my content is not is, is directed to everybody right I'm, I'm not making this videos for the the educated or the uneducated I'm main, making this video literally for everybody because I believe in universal values I believe in uh, the you know a balance between you know uh, harshness and leniency uh, between you know uh, let's say the, the, the re there must be uh, a standard right that we have to keep preferably higher than the one that they are in this is sadly real right uh, it, it's a bit in all things like uh, all human groups kind of fall short of expectations by a certain degree so uh, compared to what they can really do so Schwerpunkt has specifically this mission and um, now I just hope that the uh, that the channel is going to fluidly advance in spite of this temporary uh, you know f fixing let's say work in progress but for now I uh, stop it here uh, if you have anything to you know to ask or anything just just do it and for now just hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please share it otherwise leave a like or subscribe to my channel if you're interested in my upcoming content and for now I thank you heartily for listening to me I wish you a nice time and see you next time bye